Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Apache Hive interview questions, today we'll look at what are the different performance optimization techniques available in the Hive world. So we'll see what are the different tricks and tips to optimize our queries in the Apache Hive. So guys, this is the list of uh, some of the optimization, some of the major optimization techniques available with Hive. Uh, first one obviously is partitioning and bucketing. Second one is to use the taste as the underlying execution engine for queries to use the right file format ORC as we discussed in earlier videos also uh, vectorized query execution in Hive. Uh, the next is the cost space analysis of the queries and the last one obviously is the indexing to use the right kind of indexing to get the better performance uh, with the Hive. Now we'll discuss each one of them and how to enable or use them in the Apache Hive. Guys, let's see each one of these options one by one. So first one is the Taze execution engine. Uh, as we know, there are three execution engines provided in the Hive world. Uh, one is Taze, another one is Spark, and third one is the MapReduce. Uh, Taze is a recommended execution engine with the Apache Hive world. Uh, it works on the concept of uh, dynamic acyclic graph execution. Whenever you submit a particular query, uh, uh, DAG, dynamic acyclic graph, uh, is created for data processing, meant for that particular query, and it is much more faster and successful than the MapReduce paradigm. To enable a Taze engine, we'll have to set this uh, property hive.execution.engine is equal to Taze, and then whatever query you will fire, it will be executed by the Taze engine. Now, second technique is the uh, ORC file formats. As we discussed in the previous videos as well, ORC optimized record, record columnar file format is the recommended file format with the high word. And the reason for that is there is a vectorized reader for the ORC file format available in the Hive. And also, uh, this uh, ORC file format uh, gives a lot of speed improvement with the techniques like uh, predicate pushdown, support for compression and others. So ORC optimized uh, record columnar successor of RC file format is the recommended format with the Hive systems. Uh, now the third option uh, to get the optimized query performance is to do the query execution in the vectorized form. And to enable this vectorization, you will have to set these properties as true. Uh, Hive dot vectorize dot execution dot enable and Hive dot vectorize dot execution dot reduce dot enable is equal to true. So what basically uh, vectorization does is it performs the operations like you know uh, heavier operations like scans, aggregations, joins, filters, etc. By performing them in the batches of say uh, 1024 rows at one instant instead instead of doing the uh, processing or query execution on a single row at a time. So here we use the concept of batching uh, when we say the query execution is vectorized and the default size of the batch in the system is 1024 rows at a time. And it is recommended when you're running heavy operations like aggregations and joins to use to do the query execution in the vectorized mode. Uh, the next is the partitioning and bucketing. This is definitely uh, one of the important technique to achieve better query performance as we have discussed in earlier videos also uh, about the concept of partitioning and bucketing. Um, let's quickly see here also a partitioning. The whole purpose of doing partitioning is grouping similar type of data uh, together on the basis of some partition key so that whenever you will uh, do some kind of query, some reads or write, it will only look into that particular partition and thus you will save on the scanning cost for the entire data set. Similarly, buckets are also another categorization uh, within partition. If you want to further subdivide the partition, you can use buckets and they are primarily an important uh, aspect when you're trying to do some kind of map site joins or some uh, kind of sample processing use cases. So uh, applying partitioning and bucketing on a table will always result in a better query performance. Uh, next one and an important one is the cost based optimization. This is an important feature provided in the Hive world. So here uh, optimization is done based on the cost of the query. When we say cost of the query, uh, 
you know whenever the execution plan for a query is uh, prepared based on the query you have submitted uh, when you will do the cost space optimization or uh, then it will analyze that execution plan uh, from the fact that uh, how much it will cost in terms of time and resource to execute a particular query and then based on that it will uh, take a difference in terms of pre preparing a newer execution plan or an optimized execution plan and and made a decisions like how to order joints if there are number of joints how to uh, assign orders to different joints uh, which type of joint should be performed first and what should be the degree of parallelism uh, which all uh, task uh, for that query can be run into parallel and uh, what would be what would be the number of parallel threads running for the execution this is all decided post the cost based analysis done so to to enable the cost based optimization these are the properties will have to make them true so that cost based uh, optimization would be enabled now to uh, you know prepare the data you know to prepare the data for cost space analysis there is a command given by uh, hive which is like analyze so you can run analyze on any table or any number of column set to get the statistics uh, about the uh, you know performance of that execution plan for that particular query so for example if we say I have some table table name and i want to analyze it from the cost uh, based uh, perspective so I can simply run a command command call analyze table table name and name of the columns uh, like column a column B and here we are trying to compute the statistics even with current version of hive uh, the analyze command works pretty much faster so even if you don't give the specific columns and so try to run it on all the columns available it would be pretty fast so it will give you a compute statistics you know uh, which could be used uh, by the uh, by the cost based optimization query execution to kind of create an optimized execution plan and thus your query uh, your reads and writes would be much more fast uh, the last one in the list is indexing obviously as you all understand in the concept of indexing uh, in hive is pretty much similar in line to the to the sql world and uh, and another important aspect about indexing in hive hive is that uh, whenever you create an index on a hive table uh, a separate table is created for all those index which in itself could be partitioned so this is another great advantage and uh, in, if, if indexing is applied on a particular table there is no need for query to scan all the rows and columns in the system it can it first looks it first looks into the index table and then goes to the particular column and perform the uh, execution of that particular query so guys these are some of the major optimization techniques provided in the apache hive world i'll quickly reiterate uh, the first and foremost uh, partitioning and bucketing and obviously you take along indexing with it some of the common things that should be applied on the table forehand uh, use of the taze execution engine orc file format very important uh, we should enable the vectorized query execution and one another uh, unique technique provided by the high world is to use the analyze command on the table for to, to compute the statistics and based on that cost based analysis is performed before the query execution so these are some of the techniques which could be used to get a better performance of your queries in the apache high world guys thanks for watching have a good day bye